heightened security in Hampton Roads on the anniversary of the September 11th attacks. A bomb threat put investigators on high alert at our two main bridge tunnels. And hours after the threat reportedly expired, it is still causing major traffic backups for everyone driving to and from the peninsula and south side. This is a live look now from our jam cams of the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel and Monitor Merrimack Tunnel. Traffic you see there is running a lot smoother now, but that was not the case for most of the day. Only Chopper 10 can bring you this view of the FBI, Homeland Security, State Police, and VDOT out at the inspection stations. Investigators and bomb sniffing dogs searched all commercial vehicles going in and out of the tunnels in both directions for hours. Ten on your side has been all over the story since this morning on the ground and in the air. We continue with team coverage, reporters at both tunnels and Chopper 10 overhead. We start with 10 on your side's Aaron Kelly on the Hampton side of the HRBT. Aaron? Well, traffic was backed up here uh, by Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel for five to eight miles earlier today. Now it's moving, as you can see, we're near the northbound side, uh, but it was stop and go earlier at those inspection stations. Now, the Virginia State Police worked with state and federal agencies to clear all commercial vehicles individually. They switched out their canine units frequently to keep those dogs from overheating. Now, police say the bomb threat came in around 7.50 this morning, and when, within the hour, they were doing inspections. We know the caller was a man, but police won't tell us what he said or where he was targeting other than the Hampton Roads area, and police say that's because it's all part of the investigation. What are the agencies doing to find out who made this threat? Well, there's a lot of activity that goes on behind the scenes um, that you don't necessarily see, uh, and that has been going on since immediately the call came in. That initiated... Uh, quite a response from law enforcement, our investigators working with Homeland Security as well as the FBI and other other law enforcement agencies to kind of work in reverse almost. You know, you start with the call and you start going backwards. Now, uh, we know that there was a targeted window for that threat. We don't know exactly when those hours were, but police say they continued those inspections uh, beyond that window just as a precaution. Now, earlier today at the midday, I was at the Monitor Merrimack Tunnel or near, the, uh, near there at the inspection station, and right now that's where our Ann McNamara is. So, Ann, tell us, how is it looking now at rush hour? Aaron, this is a welcome view for all drivers. Take a look at that. Mm -hmm. Wednesday afternoon and finally a clear entrance to the monitor Merrimack. If you see a truck driver today, you might want to thank him or her for their patience. This was quite the ordeal. Let's take a look at some of the video we shot earlier today at those inspections. These trucks were lined up for hours. They went one by one. The Department of Homeland Security was on scene. The canines were on scene. Local authorities checking these trucks. It's not clear what they were looking for. But what we do know is they checked those trucks up until 3.30 in the afternoon today, and it caused quite the backup, all these tractor trailers causing other traffic. Today we spoke to one of those truck drivers who just couldn't understand why they checked the trucks and not the cars. Uh, if they're going to stop us, they should stop everybody. I don't think they should single out just trucks personally. I mean, I understand there's threats, but, uh, you know, if they're looking for something, something could easily be hidden in a car trunk just as easily as it can be hidden in a truck. And we heard that from a lot of truck drivers this afternoon, but they also added, we understand. We understand it's September 11th. We understand the meaning of this anniversary, and we understand that in this society today, sometimes these are the type of things we have to do to ensure everyone's safety. So they said they understand, but again, it was not fun to wait in that traffic, whether you were a truck driver or just a regular driver on these roads today. Live in Suffolk, I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side.